Have you ever wondered how Karl Marx, a man born over 200 years ago, continues to influence our understanding of society and economics today? Let's wind back the clock to the year 1818 in Trier, Germany, where Marx first saw the light of day. Born into a Jewish family, Marx was baptized a Christian at the age of six due to the anti-Semitic laws of the time. His family's conversion to Christianity was more a matter of survival than faith, a fact that would later shape Marx's views on religion. After a traditional elementary education, Marx enrolled at the University of Bonn to study law, a decision heavily influenced by his father, who was a lawyer. However, his time at Bonn was cut short due to his rebellious activities, leading to his transfer to the University of Berlin. It was here at the University of Berlin that Marx's intellectual journey truly began. He was introduced to the philosophy of G.W.F. Hegel, a thinker whose ideas would deeply influence Marx. Hegel's philosophy, with its focus on the dialectic, the clash of opposing forces leading to a synthesis, resonated with Marx. He began to see the world through the lens of dialectical materialism, a viewpoint that would later become a cornerstone of his own theories. Marx's time in Berlin was transformative. He delved into the works of other philosophers, economists, and social thinkers, absorbing and challenging their ideas. He became part of a group known as the Young Hegelians, a radical group that sought to apply Hegelian philosophy to the societal issues of the day. His involvement with this group allowed him to further develop his own ideological perspectives. So, from the streets of Trier to the lecture halls of Berlin, Marx's early life was a melting pot of influences, a Jewish heritage, a Christian upbringing, an education in law and philosophy, and a radical intellectual environment. Each of these elements played a crucial role in shaping the man who would go on to significantly impact the way we understand society and economics. Marx's early life and education laid the groundwork for the influential theories he later developed. As Marx delved deeper into philosophy and politics, his views began to take shape. In the year of 1843, Marx made a life-changing move to Paris. This bustling city was a hotbed of socialist and communist ideas, and it was here where Marx's ideological development truly began to flourish. Paris was not just a city to Marx, it was a catalyst, a melting pot of radical ideas and revolutionary thought that challenged the very core of his previously held beliefs. One of the most significant relationships Marx formed during this time was with Friedrich Engels, a fellow philosopher and radical thinker. Engels was more than just a friend to Marx. He was an intellectual companion, a confidant, and a significant influence. Their discussions, debates, and shared intellectual pursuits greatly shaped Marx's understanding and interpretation of socialism and communism. Engels and Marx became inseparable. Their ideas interwoven, their beliefs intertwined, they were two minds working towards a single vision, a vision of a world free from the constraints of capitalism. It was in this shared vision that the seed of the Communist Manifesto was planted. The year 1848 marked a pivotal moment in Marx's career. Together with Engels, he authored the Communist Manifesto, a work that would forever change the trajectory of political thought and philosophy. This text was not just a critique of capitalism, but a call to arms a rallying cry for workers around the world to unite and overthrow their oppressors. It was a declaration of war against the bourgeoisie, a war that Marx believed was necessary to create a society where all men and women were truly equal. The Communist Manifesto was more than just a book. It was the embodiment of Marx's revolutionary ideas, a testament to his belief in the power of the proletariat and a blueprint for a new world order. Marx's time in Paris and his collaboration with Engels were instrumental in the development of his revolutionary ideas. These ideas, born amidst the turmoil and strife of the 19th century, continue to resonate and influence political thought to this day. Marx's revolutionary ideas were not just abstract thoughts, but were articulated in several influential works. The first of these works that we'll delve into is The Communist Manifesto a powerful piece co-written with Friedrich Engels. Published in 1848 at the height of the European revolutions, this tract was a call to arms, a fiery proclamation of class struggle. Marx and Engels argued that history was a narrative of class struggles, primarily between the bourgeoisie, who owned the means of production, and the proletariat, who were the workers. The manifesto was a rallying cry for the workers of the world to unite, 
to rise up against their bourgeois oppressors and to establish a classless communist society. It's here that we find one of Marx's most famous quotes, the history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggles. Marx's later work, Das Kapital, is a detailed critique of capitalism. Published in 1867, it delves into the nature of commodities, the labor theory of value, and the exploitation of labor. Marx argued that capitalism was an economic system that inherently exploited the working class, leading to their alienation and dehumanization. He believed that the surplus value created by workers was appropriated by the capitalist class, leading to an unequal distribution of wealth. Now let's turn to Marx's theories. His theory of historical materialism is a major pillar of his thought. Marx proposed that the economic base, or the mode of production, shapes the superstructure, which includes culture, politics, and society. This means that the economic structure of a society determines its social and political life. Marx also developed the theory of alienation, a concept that describes the estrangement of people from aspects of their human nature due to the oppressive structures of a capitalist society. He argued that in a capitalist system, workers are alienated from the products of their labor, from their own productive activity, from their fellow workers, and from their human potential. Alongside these theories, Marx's concept of class struggle is central to his philosophy. He believed that the history of society is a history of class struggles, with each historical period marked by a conflict between two opposing classes. In the capitalist era, this struggle is between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat, with the proletariat destined to overthrow the bourgeoisie and establish a classless society. These ideas of Marx, radical as they were, challenged the existing economic and political systems of his time. His critique of capitalism, his focus on class struggle, and his vision of a classless society were revolutionary ideas that influenced political thought and praxis across the globe. Marx's major works and theories continue to be studied and debated, underscoring their enduring significance. Even today, Marx's theories continue to inspire, provoke, and challenge us to think critically about the world we live in. So how does a man from the 19th century continue to shape our world in the 21st century? As we delve into Marx's legacy and influence, we shall see just how his ideas have left an indelible imprint upon our world. Karl Marx's philosophies, while controversial, have undeniably influenced the trajectory of human history. His ideas have served as the ideological bedrock for socialist and communist movements around the globe. From the Russian Revolution in the early 20th century to Cuba's socialist rule, Marx's theories have given birth to political movements that have shaped the contours of entire nations. But Marx's influence is not confined to political realms alone. His theories have deeply penetrated academia, influencing a multitude of fields. In sociology, Marx's concept of class struggle and social inequality is a cornerstone for understanding societal dynamics. His critique of capitalism with its inherent disparities has fueled countless studies and debates. In the realm of economics, Marx's analysis of capitalism's cyclical nature and inherent contradictions continue to be focal points of discussion. His labor theory of value, while contested, has influenced economic thought and policy, questioning the distribution of wealth within capitalist systems. And let's not forget political science. Marx's ideas about power, class, and the state are fundamental to the study of politics. His theories have shaped how we understand the relationship between the individual and the state, the role of ideology, and the nature of political power. It is clear that Marx's influence permeates multiple facets of our world, from the political landscape to academic discourse. His ideas have sparked revolutions, inspired policies, and ignited intellectual debates. They have challenged us to question the status quo, to critique unjust systems, and to strive for a more equitable world. Even today, the ideas of Karl Marx continue to reverberate, influencing how we understand and navigate our world. His legacy, while complex, is a testament to the power of ideas and their potential to shape our collective destiny. In the past 10 minutes, we've journeyed through the life, works, and lasting influence of Karl Marx. We started by exploring Marx's humble beginnings and academic pursuits, which paved the way for his profound ideological development. His transformation was marked by an intense passion for social justice and a deep desire to understand the mechanics of society. 
We then delved into Marx's major works and theories. These include the groundbreaking Das Kapital and the Communist Manifesto, which introduced concepts such as historical materialism and class struggle. These ideas continue to resonate in various forms across the globe. Finally, we discussed Marx's enduring influence. From politics and economics to philosophy and sociology, Marx's ideas have left an indelible mark. His critique of capitalism and his vision for a classless society have shaped countless movements and debates. Whether you agree with his views or not, there's no denying the profound impact Karl Marx has had on our world. Until next time, keep asking questions and seeking understanding.